Out two is another catchweight contest. In it we see the European middleweight champion Hurricane Keith Hayward giving away three and a half stones to super destroyer Pete Roberts. And with 20 minutes as the maximum duration, we join it four minutes in with no score yet have been registered. Larry, the Derby crowd applaud a good escape and kind of move. Uh, he missed that one. He missed a chance there. But he's back at his old favorite move, the double-handed wrist lever, which he held on to despite that throw. He's got Pete Roberts' left arm in a backhammer position now, as he's coming to a reach for half Nelson behind his neck with that left arm. Five minutes gone. Five minutes. Still 15 minutes to go. No breaks, of course, except after a score in this bout. That was for a release. Nobody was getting anywhere, so a release is the only thing to be done. And again, Roberts walks into that double-handed wrist lead. That hurt his shoulder. Still the toehold winning there. But Hayward realizes, of course, no chance of a score there, so no point continuing with it. Unless it becomes a continuous weakness for him. Nice switch from the arm to leg then by Hayward. Very fast, this boy. really took the leg right over as he went. Roberts had enough of that. Goes in quickly to the quarter. Nelson. The only thing wrong position. Beautifully done. But the bridge saves Haywood. Back to canvas. But shoulder blades nowhere near at the moment. In fact, he's even getting up from here against Roberts from the double interlocked finger hole pretty good remember the weight he's giving away three and a half stone very nearly three stone plus anyway it's Keith Haywood with the black hair and the blue trunks managing to get back on his feet from that position remarkable against Roberts and Roberts literally pouring the sweat after that little battle there. His has hardly broken sweat at all as yet. He races for that Roberts left leg two or three times and has missed twice so far. Oh yes, that's cross buttock Roberts. He's trying that uh, double-hander now on the wrist. Didn't work. Haywood comes back once again with a counter, toe and ankle. Switch to a double-handed toe hole there. Really folding that leg, bending that leg right round with his left knee behind Robert's knee. That left leg has been going through it. Roberts is going to start noticing this pretty soon. The 
Again, he races for that left leg, but again, Robert sidesteps him. It's just not quite fast enough for that. Of course, Robert's one of the, if not the most, the fastest heavyweights in the business. Look at that double wrist lock by Roberts. Beautifully held, but can he hold the shoulder blades down? Nicely out. <laughs> Roberts realizes he missed another chance there. Still the double finger interlock. Both men quite happy to try this form of a referee's hold. Again, Hayward switches from the arms to the leg very quickly. Ten minutes gone. Ten minutes. So we're halfway through the bout. And no sign of a score yet, really. In fact, no shoulder blades have touched the deck yet, I don't think, really. Not for more than a second. And of course, they've got to be down for the count of three. Both agree again to the start of a move for, for the finger interlock. Again, the cross buttock Roberts. Almost a high point. Stranglehold Roberts. He was trying to reach for a face bar counter here, but I don't think he's going to make it. Go against the hold. There he is. He's out again. Back hammer counter. And the half Nelson from the front. Roberts almost back to canvas. The first chance of a four here by either man. Ready? There he goes. But Roberts continues the move and rolls out of it very neatly. <laughs> Two really terrific wrestlers here. Marvelous technicians. I see Hayward caught by the sidestep. Roberts attacking from the rear where he likes to, but he went down on his knees very quickly to try and get out of it. Head mayor. Nice whip, but Roberts, ooh, gets on his feet almost before he was whipped. Beautiful folding press by Roberts. Must have it. So just over 12 minutes, Roberts, the first pinfall. And what a beautiful move it was, too. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, in 12 minutes, 6 seconds, the first fall of the contest goes to Super Destroyer. Pete Roberts. The name that he's held since he came back from Japan with the tag wrestling tournaments out there, Suba Destroyer. That's Pete Roberts, originally from Worcester, now living in Chatham. Second session. And here we go for the second session, which is about seven minutes plus, and Pete Roberts, the heavyweight, blonde, Follow with the elbow protectors, the best identification point, is leading by one fall the nail over Keith Haywood of Dartford. Referee Roy Harding's had very little, if anything, to do yet. He hasn't had a counter pinfall, except that one that uh, Roberts got finally. I don't heard him count more than one yet on a pinfall chance. And he hasn't had to warn either man for any form of foul move. Reminds me of Lucky Gordon's bout previously. It's so different. Robert's obviously intention now is to go for a 2-0 win over the middleweight. Even though he's European middleweight champion. Single leg. Boston attempt. Haywood just won't go. 
If he does go, it'll be through the ropes, I think. Let that one go. He can't get a submission with it. Ah, uh, a bit quick, but just just legal. Just as Hayward got to his feet. He won't get up at that angle again. He'll be looking at his opponent all the time. Again, that top toe and ankle still on with Roberts putting his weight right on the left leg there. Five minutes to go. Five minutes. So just under five minutes now, and, and Hayward going for his attack. His man is already through the ropes, lying right underneath him. Unlucky, of course, he had no time to realize that, but he made the attacking dive. Handshake both men before the restart. 100% of the rules so far. Let's hope he keeps like that to the end. Great wrestling. Both men really real technical experts. Wonderful to watch wrestling like this. The high double wrist lock by Roberts. You see, he switches so fast because his man is so busy worrying how to get out of that that he forgets the dive. Roberts again going for the left leg. Hayward, four to go. Just four minutes, and again the single leg Boston attempt by Roberts. Remember, he's leading by one fall to nil, and he wants to make it a two nil win for himself. And the sweat pouring off Roberts here. Absolutely pouring off him. So you'll know he's been in about. Again, he grabs that left foot almost before he was up off the deck. Nicely done. Oh, very quick indeed. Reaching for the right arm for that folding press. Beautifully done there by Hayward. And he's got the same sort of move. And Roberts can't believe it. He smiles, but it's the equalizer to Hayward. In just 16 minutes, 45 seconds of this 20 minute duration contest, your MC Brian Crabtree. In 16 minutes, 45 seconds, the equalizing fall goes to the red corner and Hurricane Keith Hayward. Great, he had a second chance of that. He almost let Robert slip out of it, reached up with his hand just to the stomach area, caught him off balance, brought him down, folded him up, and that was the folding press equalizer in 16 minutes, 45 seconds. But there's still a couple of minutes or so to go. Third and final session begins. With two and a half minutes left, one fall each. <laughs> Roberts and Hayward both looking at the timekeeper waiting for the bell. He remembered to say seconds out. He remembered to say final session. But he forgot to ring the bell. <laughs> Never mind. It happens to all of us, John. Two minutes now left. Two minutes left. Two minutes. Come on. Oh, that whip. Roberts really should have gone with that. Oh, dear. Cause an arm break so easily that. <laughs> fights against a whip. Both men going flat out for this equalizer. The first forearm uppercut of the match. Short range body check. He's got the weight for it. Beautiful head mayor. Roberts coming down on the guillotine. Back elbow. Racing for it. He was waiting for that. He got the crutch hold. Now, can he get a slam out of this? Oh, yes, there it is. But he is standing a bit close. 
Roberts was standing over his man thinking, what shall I do next? If he hadn't got the chance to find an he went on top now with a cross press. Beautiful move, but thrown off quite easily by Pete Roberts. Less than one minute now. Paul Nelson, Hayward going for the double arm, beautifully done. Double arm with the feet and hands, all he used. And it's over the top, has he got his... No, the Roberts feet are touching the ropes and therefore it won't count, unfortunate. That was the nearest that Hayward's got. Half a minute now. And now it's Roberts coming back. The first forearms of the boat in this last session. And with just about 12 seconds left now, it's another beautiful slam. And Roberts over the top of the cross press. Very dangerous. Got a count of a two then. But I think it really is too late for a win now. It's got to be a draw. It's right on the bell of the end of this 20-minute duration contest. But what a bout. And listen to that applause. Thank you. After 20 minutes of superb wrestling by both fighters, the referee's decision, one fall apiece, a draw. Ladies and gentlemen, Pete Roberts and Hurricane Keith Aylock.